presentation on capital punishment. Uh, so what is capital punishment? Capital punishment refers to the process of sentencing convicted offenders to death for the most series of crimes they're often referred to as capital crimes and carrying out that sentence. The specific offenses and circumstances that determine if a crime is usually murder is eligible for a death sentence or defined by statute and are prescribed by Congress and any state legislature. Uh, capital punishment is also referred to as the death penalty. So a quick history of capital punishment in the United States. Capital punishment or the death penalty was brought over from Europe with the colonizers. It's nothing new that other countries have been doing it for centuries. Um, the first reported execution in the new colonies was in 1608. Uh, the first person executed under the US federal death penalty was in 1790 and they were hanged. Uh, Rhode Island was the first state to abolish the death penalty completely in 1852, even though they went back and forth, but um, Michigan was the first state to abolish it with the um, exception of treason in 1846. Uh, the United States Supreme Court deemed the death penalty unconstitutional in 1972, but then later reaffirmed the act as constitutional in 1976. So I'm gonna go into each type of uh, execution that can be used. The first is execution by firing squad. Uh, the first execution in the United States was believed to be by firing squad. It was Captain George Kendall and it was in Jamestown, Virginia in 1608. He was suspected to be a spy for Spain. Um, there have only been three, state, uh, three deaths by firing squad since 1976 and those were in Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Utah. Uh, multiple shots are fired at the offender being executed, like in the photo, and typically one of the shooters is given a blank, and they do it without any of the shooters being present when they load the gun so that nobody really knows like who killed the offender and who did it. The next is execution by hanging. Um, until the 1890s, hanging was the primary method of execution in the U.S., some of them being public and some of them being within prisons. Um, hanging is still used in legal in Delaware and Washington, but they lean more towards lethal injection first. The last execution by hanging was January 25th, 1996 in Delaware. Um, the, there have only been three deaths since 1976 by hanging. Execution by electrocution. New York was the first state to execute a prisoner by electrocution in 1890. His name was William Kemmler. Um, the first zap didn't kill him, and the second one eventually did. It lasted more than a minute. Thomas Edison was the one who invented the electric chair. <laughs> there have been 163 electrocutions since 1976. Only nine of the last 744 people have actually been killed by electrocution. It needed to be further carried out by lethal injection. Electrocution is most commonly shown in movies and TV shows when the death penalty is used because they go for that gory value and that's exactly what you kind of get with this. The next is execution by gas chamber. Nevada was the first state to execute a prisoner by gas chamber in 1924. His name was E. John and he was an Asian gang member. Um, they tried to execute him in his cell with the gas and realized that the gas was actually leaking out of the cell and into the hallway, so that's why they had to make a gas chamber. The gas used is hydrogen cyanide. Um, it goes in as sodium cyanide and then turns into a gas form once it hits the pan and whatever liquid that they have in there. There have been 11 lethal gas executions since 1976. And witnesses say it's a horrifying experience because they tell the inmate to breathe in as deeply as possible and then you watch their eyes pop and then scream and it's really gross. Execution by lethal injection. Um, Texas was the first state to perform execution by lethal injection. His name was Charles Brooks and it was in 1982. The method was actually invented by a medical examiner. His name was Jay Chapman and he proposed the idea of uh, lethal injection in 1977. Since 1976, there have been 1,347 executions by lethal injection. And it's the most common method of execution to date. Um, it's three drugs administered, one to sedate, one to paralyze them, and then one to stop the heart. 
Um, my dad was also one of, uh, he was able to be a part of the uh, first lethal injection in Illinois back in the day, so he got to hear that, that was really cool. Hmm. Um, these are the states with and without the death penalty as of 2020. As you can see, there are more states that are actually still using the death penalty than there are that are not. And in 2020, I believe Texas, Georgia, and Missouri and Alabama have already executed someone. Hmm. So pros and cons of capital punishment, and it's from an argumentative perspective because there's no statistical way to say this is good, this is bad. Um, some people would say that the pros, it would deter a criminal from committing serious crimes. Um, it appeases the families of the victims, so you know that they don't think like, oh, this man is living and breathing or woman. Um, they say it's a cost-effective solution to just get rid of them and not have to house them in prison. And it removes heinous criminals from society, while on the other side, there's actually no proof of deterrence from criminals because people still commit crimes, people still commit murders. Um, it continues the cycle of violence in our society, so you're just killing someone because they killed someone. It's actually cheaper to imprison someone for life. Um, most inmates can stay on death row for decades, which makes the cost go up again, and uh, that's because of the appeal process. And some inmates have actually been found innocent sometimes after execution is administered. So, cost of capital punishment. Uh, on average, the cost of a death penalty case from start to finish is $2.4 million. Um, a 2016 study found that a death row inmate costs around $1.12 million more to house than an inmate with a life sentence. That's almost 50% more than just keeping them in prison for the rest of their lives. Execution is cheaper, yes, than keeping an inmate on death row, or even in general population, but appeals can take years and increase the cost of living and care in prisons even more than if they were to just stay in general population. So, capital punishment today. While the death penalty is still being used in many states, some even executing prisoners in 2020, 22 states have outlawed it completely. Although there are no pros and cons that can be obtained from a place without opinion, the country continues to remain divided on this sentencing form and, and form of punishment. Whether it be cost, morality, or another reason, it seems that the death penalty is here to stay. Excellent.